Hi guys, Blake here with Lily's Landing Resort and Marina on beautiful Upper Lake Tanicomo. It is Sunday, the 28th of June, and this is the one cast. Today I boated up here starting at the cable. Uh, everything situated uh, today I'm gonna start off with a sculpin and brown jig orange head 16th ounce on two pound tests uh, they were running three units of water but I see that the bank line has dropped uh, over a foot now there so I'm going to guess that they're probably turning it back to the two two units that they've been running at night. Uh, they had the three units on for you know, the last five or six hours. Got a little overcast skies here. It was a uh, sunny day for most of the day. Um, but it looks like, I don't know, we kind of, these last few days, there's kind of been parts of the day where it clouds up and looks like it's going to rain. We haven't really had any rain, but certainly looks like it's going to. Um, it's about, oh, 7.45 in the evening. So nothing on the, nothing on the first cast there. Uh, fishing reports, uh, kind of a mixed bag of reports. Uh, I had a few boats come back today that said they uh, couldn't find any fish at all and had a few that came back and said they caught their limit. Uh, most people are still drifting uh, night crawlers and, and using that pink power worm. Uh, one good fishing report has been down by the Branson Landing around the paddle wheel, the the dock there, um, and around the fish house. Fishing the pink power worm underneath a float, about five to seven feet. Uh, people have been down there catching them left and right, bunch of stalkers. Um, so if you're looking to come and catch numbers of fish and you're not worried about the size you can go down there I know that the fishing from our dock all the way down to there has also had some good reports on it um, and that's still with the pink power worm and with the night crawlers and some have been drifting the power bait Um, Dwayne had a trip this morning, uh, him and the two ladies that, ooh, that were with him, um, they all caught, well, they caught three rainbow trout today over 20 inches. I think two that were, well, one that was 23 inches and two that were 22 inches long. Uh, so that's a pretty amazing day, and those are all on the Signature Series jerk bait, the 110 plus one. Uh, I believe he said it was the rainbow flavored one. And said that they had a couple, at least two more get off that uh, were over 20 inches. So it's a pretty good morning for them. I've had lots of uh, just so many trophy fish come out of the water this month. Uh, I believe with those three, um, that puts our registered amount up in, in our trophy section of our website to 60 fish, I think, now, in one month that were all over 20 inches. Uh, pretty awesome. I don't think they're liking my uh, peach and brown jig here, the orange heads, so uh, switch to something else here. Try, uh, we're gonna try olive. 
<laughs> with the uh, dark dry olive actually. And this one is a uh, 16th ounce, and I've got it on four pound test. got some new shirt colors in like I'm wearing here uh, they're made of that real breathable material can't remember what it's called um, got a couple new shirt colors in and we got a couple new uh, face buffs in I'm sure that Nathan has those uploaded on the website and you can get on there and check them out I went night fishing last night and uh, you know like I said with the with the constant two and three units of waters running at night uh, it's it's not quite as good uh, but we're we're still catching some fish and uh, the nighttime weather is very enjoyable right now Uh, something that's been working decent now that they're running constant water all day and all night is uh, going back to dragging those little jerk baits on the drift rig. Um, we had the Crawford staying with us and they came out here and I think that was one of the primary methods they used while they stayed here last week and they caught a lot of, a lot of nice healthy 18 and 19 inch fish and uh, he told me that there was one point where they were fishing up here one evening and they had on what they thought was uh, maybe one of the biggest trout they've ever seen in their life uh, actually right across from me right now over there by rebar hole um, and I know there's a couple uh Captain Bill Babbler was doing the same thing on some of his trips the last couple days and producing some fish. Fish do not seem to be liking me today so far. I think maybe I chose the wrong side of the lake. I am going to switch over to the other side and I'm going to switch jig colors again. Alright, I'm hoping this is the one because I only brought three rods rigged up jigs. So, the last one I got here is a 
Sculpin and Ginger with a brown head. That is on four pound test as well. But we're gonna go over here to the south bank and uh, hit this deeper water and see if maybe that's where they're at. Like I said, it was a pretty bright and sunny day today. Um, I think this cloud cover just kind of rolled in in the last, uh, last hour or two. So they might still be setting over off in the deeper channels. And it looks to me that this jig might be a 332nd ounce, so it might be a little heavy. Hoping not. I really thought about rigging up some black and olive or you know like a black and chartreuse and you know maybe I should have I know those can be good colors during the summertime and uh, in conditions like I have right now at the moment oh there's a fish he wanted the sculpin and oh dang it well I guess he didn't want it that bad he spit it out a couple seconds later Look like a nice one. Touch bottom there. Lake was uh, still pretty busy with boat traffic today. almost as busy as yesterday not quite though lots of people getting out and enjoying enjoying the lake all the craziness going on This little spot where these trees stick up out of the water going down the south bank uh, it's usually a pretty good drop off right there uh, that holds fish the water is definitely slowing down significantly Kind of wishing I had rigged up all 16th ounce jigs here. Starting to get some fish rise in here. I know the dry fly bite, you know, isn't all, you know, the, the best here on Lake Taney Como usually, 
But I did see my first grasshopper yesterday. And it got me pretty excited. So, if I see a few more, I might take a day and get my fly rod out and come out here and throw a throw a dry fly or a hopper fly against the against the edges and see what see what I can come up with. These fish are doing a good job of avoiding me today. Really thinking with the water moving this slow now that this uh, 332nd ounce jig might be a little, a little too much. It might be impeding the uh, the bite a little bit here. I think I mentioned it the other day, but people are still using the, the San Juan worm and the Mega worm and catching fish. You can drift those under an indicator or drag them across the bottom with a drift rig. I think in two units of water, I'd probably put it underneath my underneath an indicator on my fly rod. Um, but anything faster, I'd probably switch over to the, uh, drift rig. At three units, a lot of the water sections start getting pretty deep. You've got to use quite a bit of leader to get it down. Huh. These fish are really not liking me. I'm going to scoot out here to the middle a little bit. And... See if they're a little farther out. I was trying to work the uh, the eddy behind that big sycamore tree that's down over here on the south bank.
I'm gonna check my tackle box and see if I've got oh, 16th ounce sculpin and ginger. I'm hoping that maybe I have one. Well, I'm not really seeing anything smaller than what I want here. So I'm going to tie on a Sculpin and Ginger um, 16th ounce with an orange head. go down as far as trophy run I think we'll call it a day I might wind up getting skunked again today Dwayne said that the sculpin and peach with an orange head was a jig they used this morning that was also catching fish. So that was one of the reasons I tied up the one I brought out first here. Uh, but the conditions were, you know, it was sunny and that can make a difference for color choice. Come on, fish. A little muggy out here tonight. Something I haven't tried in a while is a black and white jig. There was a time early this spring where that was a very, very good color and I was using it almost every day and catching lots of fish so might have to experiment around with that a little bit again I mean, I'm just I'm hardly even seeing any fish on the bottom here kind of surprising I usually see quite a few fish stacked up around this island flat
kind of wishing I had rigged up a rod with some scuds to drag. I think that could have been pretty effective uh, for those two units of water that they were running as soon as I got up here. Couple more casts. See if maybe I can find a buzzer beater. Last cast right here. Harley tried to milk that one. <laughs> Looks like the fish win today against me. So we thank you guys for watching and like and share us on Facebook. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, get on there and subscribe and press the thumbs up button. It'll let you know whenever we upload the videos each day. We thank you guys for watching and we'll do it again tomorrow.